Hey, what's going on? In this video, I want to share with you how you can hide different elements within Groove Pages. And not just elements, you can also hide containers and blocks as well. Um, so this helps will make you this will help make your website much more responsive across uh, different display sizes, so tablets and mobile phones and laptops. And this will just help improve the overall user experience. So it's great to do this. Um, and you can just hide different things depending on uh, what display they're viewing. Now, if you're new to my channel, I share tips and tricks for solopreneurs, freelancers, or anyone looking to start or grow their online business. And if you already haven't got if you haven't got your Groove Pages free account, um, you can go down below. I'll leave a link in the description. Get your account there, and you'll also get access to my bonuses too. So let's jump straight into the training. So um, I'm going to go straight into Groove Pages, and what I've done is I've just um, already selected a one of the templates that group page has provided. Um, haven't made any changes to it. So just to show you, you can do this with any of the templates. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna first hide a button. So this is one of the elements and we'll hide that. So um, let's say we wanna hide it inside the mobile view. So you click the mobile one here. These are all your different display sizes. And if you just, and that, that um, when, you, when they're all pink, that's editing all of them across all the different displays. And if you just click it again, it will um, shrink to just show you the one in pink. And that's the only one you're editing there. So um, let's just make sure we have selected the button, um, as you can see there in the breadcrumbs. And what we do is we go down to layout and where it says block, it might say something else, or it might just say display. We go down there and we click none. And then as you can see there, it's shaded out in a kind of red grid. Now, Groove pages still, um, as it's still in beta, there are some a few little bugs. So sometimes you just have to check with the other um, display sizes, as you can see here in the bigger one, uh, it's on none. So if we just change this display, uh, sometimes you can change it to, if we just change it back to block, um, it should be back there. And we'll check across all the others and it's still there. Um, and then in the mobile one, um, it's gone. And I'll, I'll preview the page at the end to show you that it is gone across the different ones. But I also just want to show you how you can do it with blocks and um, containers as well. So what we'll do is we want to hide, let's hide this whole block here. Um, it doesn't, it looks okay, but let's say we don't want it in the mobile view. So if you go down to the breadcrumbs, what I've done, you can either click this arrow here to go up, um, or you can just click on the breadcrumbs the um, block there. So I'll click the block there. And then it's pretty much the same thing. Um, just go down to layout. And then where it says display, you want to just change that to none. And again, you want to just make sure as it's, as it's shown here that um, it, it is um, back to normal in the other views. So we'll change that back to block. It sometimes just likes to change and sometimes rather than block, you might have to change it to a different display. Sometimes you just have to have a little um, play around, um, but there is a way to make it work. And let's say, uh, we'll scroll down, scroll down. Let's say we don't like this um, image here, this container and this image. As you can see, it's an image, but it's also a container. So let's go to the container by clicking on the breadcrumb again. And then again, all we do is we go to layout and we want to change that from flex to none. And you can see it's um, got the red grid there uh, and it's fine across the other ones, I believe. Yeah, it looks fine to me. So now let's just test it out and see what it looks like across the different displays. So as, um, as you might remember, we did the button we did the image container and we did that um, for those four rows as well of the block. So what I wanna do is, so as you can see the buttons there and we'll just make this smaller across the different sizes and we'll test it out. So the buttons are still there and there's the button gone. And there's the button back and we want to do the same. Here's the container. And then there's, there's the container disappeared there. And if we drag this back out, we've got the container, the, sorry, the block again there. And down on the bottom, we had the, this image container. We got rid of that. We hid that in the mobile view. And it's still there now. 
just above the contact us one. And as you can see, it's disappeared again there. So that's how you can hide different um, blocks, containers, and um, elements in, in Groove Pages. Now, um, if you want to join my Facebook group where I share a lot more of these kind of tips and tricks in a more kind of collaborative um, conversational kind of approach, and you can ask questions and answers in that. Um, I'll leave a link for that down in the description below as well. And just feel free to comment with any questions, um, suggestions for what you want to learn next. Uh, and please, uh, if you like this video, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you get a notification when the next video comes out. All right, so I hope you have a great day and a great week, and I'll see you in another video.